Hey there everyone, Seb here with part 5 of Let's Play Lost Eden on CDI. We're in Uluru and we need to pretty much do the same thing as we did in Shamar. We need to find the locals and set up defenses in the form of a citadel. Things will be a bit different here though, but uh, you know, let's, uh, let's see what we can find. I believe the first place we need to go is over here. <laughs> Which of course it's not. It's one more to the uh, to the right. Kind of annoying that this version does not have the uh, pointer on the map. And yeah, some things are randomly placed on the map and move around actually, like the Tyran and the Velociraptors, and I think the Brontosaurus, but not sure. And some things are uh, at a permanent location, like the uh, locals most of the time, like these the. Uh, Uluru guys, they live in a cave. And they, uh, they look kind of scary. <laughs> yeah, overdoing the mask thing a bit, I think. <laughs> this is the sacred place of the mighty Ulele. Music, where are you? Ah, there you are. For some reason, the cursor is a bit uh, lagging around here. Oh well. My lord, this is Ulan, chief of the Ulele, also known as Arrow Maker. Arrow Maker, <laughs> And he has a spear in his hand. Yeah, okay. Welcome to you, Mungo, friend to all men. And welcome to you, Adam of Mo. News of your accomplishments has reached us from the west. That fast. All have heard of Adam, also known as Citadel Builder. Uh, Dina's kind of degrading into the worshipper status here. <laughs> The Yulele need one of your mighty citadels. With it, we could halt the advance of the Tyran in these parts. We would be strong allies to you. Alright, so now we need to do basically the same thing. And Ulan is now along in the, uh, in the party. But there's little use of uh, talking to him right now. Because we just need to say uh, do the same thing again. So, first things first, we need to find ourselves a mushroom for the Brontosaurus. And luckily, we found them already. Sweet. So now we need to find the Brontosaurus uh, herd. And yeah, this is basically uh, most of uh, the game. There are some twists and turns, but most of the time uh, it consists of going to a valley and building a citadel in the same exact way. It's... and they're never near water, so I, I don't know why I'm going this way. <laughs> so it's a bit repetitive in that regard, but you know, most uh, valleys do have different stories. Brontosaurus, where are you? How are we all the way on the back on top, actually? Huh. <laughs> I need to really pay close attention on where I'm going because uh, I didn't want to go to the. Ah, who's here? This sounds like Brontosaurus music. And there they are indeed. Yeah, they also have different scenes for uh, at what location they can be found. I mean, there is also a forest scene, I think. And this is the mountain scene and the plain scene. Kind of cool. So, uh, let's give him the uh, mushroom here. And of course, he's happy about it again. Brontosaurus welcome the bringer of hope. 
They'll build for the Ulele if you give them the sign. Okay, um, let's just have another concert here, even though Adam is not the best musical player, I think. But <laughs> he's learning, I suppose. Even though it doesn't show. With the help of the Eulalie, they will build a citadel in this place. Alright, so let's do that. And that's the second uh, citadel build. Right, Eloy. In the plain of Uluru stood the first citadel of the Ulele. Now they could defend their valley against the tyrant. Yeah. So I'm actually not sure if these uh, humanoid kind of characters are based on prehistoric men. I, I don't know. <laughs> and again, a citadel that looks like uh, pretty much useless <laughs> of any form of defense. But oh well. <laughs> As you go along, they will get bigger, um, by the way, so that, that's kind of cool. So let's uh, have a word with Ulan. See what he thinks about the new citadel. You have given us a citadel. Accept this gift from my people. Nice, so we get a new uh, stone tablet. With citadels only here and in Shamar, the world is still not safe, Lord Adam. And <laughs> everyone uh, forgets Mo. <laughs> oh well. Ulan of the Ulele is right, my lord. We must strengthen the northern border. Otherwise, the tyrant can invade easily. I also don't really get this one because um, eventually we'll come to discover that Morcus Rex actually has his lair to the south. <laughs> so why would you want to strengthen the northern border? Eh, I don't know. Or maybe I'm just forgetting wrong. There is a valley some distance to the east. Many of its inhabitants have been killed by the tyrant. They would welcome your help. So, I suppose we've found our new destination. Who are these people, Ulan? They are the Kobu people. Getting picky, Dina, on who we help and who we don't. <laughs> anyway, uh, so again, you can use the stone tablet on Adam to find out what's uh, to be seen in this window so to speak so let's check it out why don't we Blech. well that was short <laughs> but we'll be seeing uh, those guys later on Also, if you ever want to check out Morcus Rex again, then you can use the uh, first tablet on Adam and you'll get a new scene from Morcus Rex. If, uh, occasionally he will have something new to say. I don't think if he has something new to say right now. Let's check it out, so why don't we? Because he's an awesome guy, so you know, it's, it's worth checking. Nah, he's already said that. But yeah, uh, occasionally he has different things to say and uh, one time it's actually uh, mandatory that you check that out. Otherwise you get stuck. <laughs> so that's uh, good to keep in mind. Alright, so we're done in this valley as well. So let's go back to the map screen and uh, hopefully Eloy is there. I have news! Nice, uh, out with it. 
So that that's basically it. Uh, when Eloy comes back and he has news, he will tell you. Uh, most of the time he comes back when you go back to the map screen of the valley. And then you can click on his face and he'll tell you what uh, news he has. A herd of velociraptors is moving through the valley of Shamar. Nice, and velociraptors are uh, dinosaurs that can fight off the tyrant in the valley. They're so, they're kind of a mercenary army, so to speak. So that's good, uh, although we can't really use that information just yet, but it, it's good to keep in mind that if we want, then we can hide the Velociraptors uh, in Shamar. But for now, we need to go elsewhere. Show me where you want to go. This time we will go to Koto. It won't take us long to reach Koto. And so Adam traveled eastwards in search of the Valley of Koto to meet the Kobu people. And off we go again with a new scene. One for leaving and one for coming again. But again, it's, it's per valley you have different scenes. So it, it's... If the game doesn't get stuck right now. Yeah, it's getting stuck. So be right back guys. Holy shit, it's working. <laughs> hey guys, back again. After like half an hour. The, the damn thing got stuck three more times on, on parts we've already covered. Hey. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's working again for now at least. I hope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, CDI is terrible. With, uh, it, it has a very low tolerance for read errors. So, uh, you know, where most devices, they do a decent job of trying to pick up where they left off. CDI, once they find a read error where they can't read part of this, they just basically say, ah, screw it, not my problem. Go clean it up and they spit it out. Bastards. Please excuse me, my lord. I will fly off and learn what there's to be learned. Well, good luck with that, Eloy. But uh, we're here, finally, back again. Uh, where do we need to go here? I think the top left corner, if I remember correctly. And of course I misclicked again. <laughs> yeah, there we go. And there's a nice uh, object on the floor here. A sunstone, which looks nice next to our moonstone. They will come in handy later on. And well, let's check out this fresco over here. These look like ancient paintings, Adam. One day, far in the future, the descendants of the people of Koto will see them and dream of their ancestors. Maybe. Like yeah, you've Adam. already One said that. So uh, let's uh, let's get out of here and actually meet the uh, people of Koto. And I actually have no idea where they are. But we found the Brontosauruses, I believe. Nice. So we know where these are, and we've seen this scene of thing before. So we know where these uh, guys are. So let's move on. Let's just uh, take the uh, top row here first and work our way down that way. Ah, uh, yeah, I had to let off some steam there. <laughs> Damn CDI crashing all the time. It held up fairly uh, nice so far, but yeah. I I haven't cleaned up this CDI uh, since I got it, so uh, you know I might want to do that. 
it's so infuriating when you uh, have gone through a bit of a game and you have got to be kidding me screw you game screw you CDI <laughs> oh. be right back again alright so let's try this yet again luckily this time it didn't uh, crash a couple of times for me to get here <laughs> Anyway, let's uh, move over to the right, since apparently there was something there, but the game got uh, stuck on it again. Yeah, as I was trying to say, uh, I didn't clean out the CDI when I got it, so, you know, I might want to do that. <laughs> the disc is, uh, seems to be fine. I don't see anything wrong with it, but that doesn't say a whole lot, to be honest. Uh, this video is going to be a pain to edit together. It's got holes in it. A lot of holes. And there was actually nothing there. Thank you very much for wasting my time, game. Much appreciated. Not. But there's something here. Have we found the locals? We did. Hello, locals. I like this place. <laughs> Welcome to the Valley of Kodo. I am Kamala, chief of the Kogu tribe. Kamala sounds kinda happy. I like. Hmm. These people look like brave warriors, Adam. And Dina proves too, I guess. Beware these regions, strangers. The Tyran are never far away. We fight them, but many of our warriors have died. Seems to be a common uh, thing in these uh, lands. Can it be that word of your accomplishments has not yet reached this valley, Adam? It's like sacrilege, that's what it is. Adam? You are Prince Adam of Mo? He who holds the secrets of the citadels? That's me. Now all bow down before me. Here in Kodo, we need more than a citadel. The Tyrant are so ferocious that we can't hold them back without the help of the Velociraptors. Oh, okay. Well, that kind of sucks. <laughs> so now we get to uh, introduce to the Velociraptors uh, proper. Since they, uh, they can fight the Tyrant, as I've already explained uh, in a previous part. Or was it this part? See, now I'm all confused. <laughs> let's uh, let's take the bird nest and uh, also try and find a mushroom again for the uh, brontosaurus. But yeah, we found a bird nest. So and it, of course it has eggs again. You can also find them without eggs, but oh well. Fuck, you're up, buddy. Time for another omelette. <laughs> Keeps being funny. I like Fug. Fug is an awesome fellow. So let's go onwards and find that mushroom. I'm actually not sure if we can uh, build a citadel here or not. Uh, we'll need to check that out. I mean, eventually, of course, you can build a citadel, but. Since any, uh, since uh, we don't, as you can see, we don't have a temporary party member, so it might be the case that we first need to you, you get the Velociraptors on our side. But I'm I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, oops, <laughs> clicked a bit uh, above the screen there. Didn't want that. Which is another way to go to the party screen. So let's go to the Brontosaurus and uh, try and build a citadel. So let's give him the mushroom.
Your gift is well received. The Brontosaurus sends in you the blood of the architect. Well, he was my ancestor, so that makes sense. And of course, we uh, we use the flute on the snake necks to uh, make him dance for us <laughs> and build stuff. Hopefully, I'm not sure actually. It's been a while, guys. The Brontosaurus hear the sign and wish to help, but they cannot build a citadel without the help of the Kobu tribe. You should visit the Kobu. Alright, so we do need the help of the Velociraptors first. Okay, well, um, let's do that in the next part, why don't we? Because uh, I'm not entirely sure how long we have passed in this video, how long it will be, because uh, I think I've been at it for over an hour now. <laughs> Thanks a lot, CDI. So, uh, yeah, guys, join me next time, and until then, take care.